so hey guys welcome back for another video in this video we'll be discussing about the future movements of nifty and bank nifty and some setups which we can trade in the next week before that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i put out a new video you can also join our telegram group the link is mentioned in the description so let's get started Let's start off with Nifty. Nifty has been moving in a really crazy way for the past 10 days. After we saw a drop from the levels of 11500 to the levels of 10800, the market has not looked backwards since then. From 25th of September till today, the market has been moving in a relentless bull trend. And as we can see, the buzz on social media and a lot of traders in the community who are stuck after the price is refusing to go down. So how can the price behave in the future? See, as far as the short positions are concerned, it is not a good time to create a short position as of now. If you go on the daily time frame chart, here we can see out of the past 10 or 11 sessions, there has been only one session where we have seen a little bit of selling, except that the sessions have been owned by the buyers till now. And the bodies are not big. There have been small sessions of buying every day. This means that it is a very subtle and a very strong uptrend. See on our telegram group, which is an open community for all to discuss trading setups and the future outlook. I had mentioned last month that Nifty is expected to test the highs of 12,500 this year once again. If you are interested to be a part of this group, feel free to join it. The link is mentioned in the description. So if we go on the higher time frame chart, the market is going up and is expected to test the levels of at least 12,000 either by Monday or Tuesday. The minimum target is 12,000 and if the market crosses that, you can expect it to test the all-time highs once again which is at around 12,400. See this area of 24th of February is when the coronavirus crash started all over the world. 24th February date is the is the day when the market gapped down on the daily charts and the crash started. So according to me, the market might face a little bit of resistance at the 12,000 levels and we can expect a little bit of profit booking at the levels of 12,000. Until then, right now for a fresh long position or short position, it is not a perfect time to create either one of them. If you see a good bearish engulfing candlestick around this resistance area then you can go short below the low of that candlestick and for creating a long position it is not a great time because the ship has sailed the market has gone the market has moved in a really parabolic way and you can expect pullback anytime soon so right now the market is headed upwards but we'll wait and watch if we can create a short position around the resistance area regarding bank nifty see bank nifty has also been moving in an uptrend this week but Bank Nifty, you can expect some resistance at this level of 24,000. The market might consolidate for two or three days at the levels of 24,000. And the next resistance level is at 25,000 levels. Similar to Nifty, if we find resistance at the levels of 24,000, a good bearish candlestick, then we can create a short position below the low of that candlestick. One thing we can also notice is that the market is now below the 200 day moving average. So you can expect some sellers to be around 24,000 area. But if the price crosses this level of 24,000 and crosses above the 200 day moving average, then you can expect a quick bounce to 25,000 level because very little trading occurred between 24 and 25,000 levels. So you can see a thousand point jump if the price is closes above 24,000 levels. For the next week, I've been able to find only one setup which is tradable and that setup is HDFC. See HDFC has been moving in a stairs pattern creating higher higher and higher lows. After a quick fall to the moving average you can see a good hammer candlestick forming and a higher low is also forming at the same time. So if the price trades above 1968 you can go long with a stop loss of 1948 and for the first target of 1 is to 1 that is 1988 levels and after that the price is expected to test the levels of 2030 next week 
so the target 2 would be around the levels of 2015 to 2030 levels so that's it for today guys i hope you liked this video and if i provided some sort of value in this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button comment if you have any queries and feel free to share it to spread the knowledge that's it for today thank you very much take care if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to receive notifications every time i put on a new video you can also follow me on twitter and telegram links are mentioned in description thank you take care